Hi everybody. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to use MIDI to control Ableton's uh, resonator effect, kind of the same way you would with Corpus. So if you're familiar with Corpus, you can have the sidechain open here and uh, just control the tuning of the whole thing. So let me show you how it's done here with Corpus first. So I have this really basic thing going on. And I have this track here, with, which has no, uh, uh, no, no instruments on it. It's just sending MIDI to Corpus here. So if we play that... So you can get get uh, pretty interesting effects with it. To do it with a uh, resonator, it uh, required a little bit of playing around with some uh, existing Max for Live devices. So what you'll need is this pack uh, here, uh, pitch and time machines, and you'll have MIDI effect, MIDI sender and receiver. That's the first thing. And the other would be uh, ah, this by Tom Cosm, which I guess if you know Ableton, you'll know the guy. Has some of the best Ableton tutorials online. And he made this uh, Max for Life device called Flippy, which allows you to control one parameter with another parameter. So it's a different way of uh, mapping and it's very useful. So if you go back here, okay. So the first thing is that we need to turn this uh, MIDI receiver into an audio effect instead of a MIDI effect, which is pretty easy. First thing you have to do is, well, we can um, here, let's just open the MIDI receiver. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to use it as an audio effect and not be limited to having it on MIDI effects because it's not useful in this scenario. So all we're going to do is open this for editing, Ta -da. unfreeze, unlock, and just pick up everything, copy, close this, don't save. Um, Go to Max for Live, do, 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 do. Max Audio Effect. We'll just throw that on here, open that, uh, expand it. We're going to leave the plug in and plug out because we need audio to pass through. Uh, delete all this, paste. And here in the MIDI select, we're gonna put an unpack because we want the MIDI notes. That's the whole point of the thing. Uh, pass it through here, make an able uh, live dot num box. So it's uh, mappable in Ableton here. Uh, add that to presentation. Then we go on presentation, put that here, move that here. And then we're going to save that as an audio effect. So, do, 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 do save. <clears throat> so I have it uh, already done. It's, where is it? MIDI, 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 MIDI. Wait. Uh, MIDI, receive. Here it is. So it looks like this. So basically the same thing, but now you can add it as a as an audio effect. Uh, so that's the first part. The second part would be to use Flippy, which is Tom Cosm's device. Um, we'll go here, max media effects. 
No, it's not obvious. Sorry. Flippy, flippy. Yep. Here. So the way this works is, um, let's go here to the resonator. Delete this. Delete that. Delete. Ungroup. Okay. So the whole thing we want to do is map any incoming MIDI to this resonator here, to the first note, and then we can play around with the other pitches later. So we're going to put, first of all, I'm using this track to control everything. So I'm going to put a max MIDI sender, which is also in the same pack. And this could be a MIDI, ef uh, MIDI effect. It's not a big deal. Uh, well, it has to be a MIDI effect. And then here I'm going to put the MIDI receiver. Whoop. Receive. No. Uh, doo -doo. Oh, here we go. And now we put Flippy in the middle here. So all you need to do is map this MIDI. Uh, note number and we we want that to control this note here and set this all the way up to a hundred percent so if we close this here turn this on we have this playing okay this is sending to MIDI to bus one and we're gonna be receiving from bus one uh, you can set it to any bus if you're not using it um, <clears throat> so let's see how that works. see that it's adding all this stuff in the background and it's independent of whatever uh, anything that's happening here so yeah you can just play around with it you can use other uh, max for life devices to automate others other parts of this so if we go to the LFO here do -do. We can put an LFO on here. Just bring the rate down a little bit. Uh, let's see how that sounds like. Another cool thing you can do is you can actually play the notes that you want. So here, if I switch, turn off this clip, I'll, uh, I can just play along. So we can do that. <laughs>
that's basically it. It's really simple, uh, and I think it does a lot of interesting things. Uh, you can get a lot out of it, to be honest. And Resonator, for example, like here, if we put one of the presets, for example, let's see what they have. Berlin. Da, da. Okay, let's go with Berlin. No, let's go with Rome. Okay, we put that here. Let's see how that sounds like. <laughs> So yeah, uh, it's very useful for sound design and coming up with some uh, unexpected uh, layers in the middle of everything that you've got. And yeah, uh, that's basically it. Hope it's useful and I'll see you later. <laughs>